Welcome back friends to your Tech Handy channel. Please like and subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. In this video, I will demonstrate how you can seize and transfer FSMO roles from the crash domain controller. For this demo, we assumed our DC02 domain controller crashed, which was holding all FSMO roles. As a recommendation, it is not the best practice to keep all FSMO roles on one domain controller. As you can see all the roles are currently on DC02 and domain controller is not accessible on network. Once you ensure the domain controller holding FSMO roles is not recoverable, can proceed with seizing and transferring roles to another domain controller. Follow the listed commands to perform this action. And TDS util. Then type roles to connect to roles. Next we type connection to define which domain controller server we want to connect to. Then define server where you want to transfer roles, which in our case is DC01. Next, just type quit or simply Q to switch one step back. Then type first seize command to seize schema master role. Hit yes to confirm seize and transfer schema master role to DC01. C's role can vary from environment to environment. Just sit tight and wait for it to complete. Our schema master is now C's on DC02 and transferred to DC01. Next, we will C's naming master role. Naming master is also seized on DC02 and successfully transferred to DC01. Let's continue with PDC role. PDC is also seized and transferred successfully. Next, we can seize and transfer RID master role now. RID master is also seized and transferred to DC01. Lastly, we can seize and transfer our infrastructure role. All the roles are successfully seized on DC02 and transferred to DC01. We can verify by running net dom query fsmo command. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to support our efforts.